What's going on, YouTubers? We got two incredibly massive boxes. Like, holy Jupiter's cock. This feels bigger than Captain America. Like, wow. This is the Queen Alien Bust by Queen Studios. Got this from our good friends at Spec Fiction. Paid them a little bit extra to go ahead and get this sooner than waiting for them to do their whole import on a boat. But now I understand why the original shipping cost was 475 because, like, wow, Jupiter's cock. That's huge. Like, let me see. This comes, this comes to my belly button. I'm six foot four. Alrighty, so I'm not carrying this downstairs. It's stupid heavy. So we're going to do it just like we did Captain. I'm going to open it right here, carry it piece by piece, and show you the assembly more or less. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so this is what we got in box one. Looks like the dome and the base. So that's a good thing. I wanted to get the base first because that box was so heavy. I don't plan to, I'm going to put this where it's going to be and I'm not going to move it again. This is the lighter of the boxes. It's not bad at all, actually. But that one, which is the body, it's going to be heavy as fu. And there's also a few additional, you know, like, Looks like tubes and whatnot. But yeah, the base is pretty big. Not horrible. Let's get to the next box. Alrighty, so the other box we do have instructions. So the other box, it's actually not too many pieces if you look at it. So the other one's gonna have the head and the body. And then just the base, three parts and the dome. So it's actually not too bad. I guess that body and head just weigh a ton. Alrighty, let's open it. There it is. Alrighty, one thing I wanted to show is that had a nasty gap that did strike this styrofoam. Hopefully no issues. This box was beat up because it's so heavy. Alrighty, and this is what we see right here. Uh, one of the stupid packets broke, so there's a bunch of these little beads everywhere. So let's just look real quick. Alrighty. Let's take it downstairs. Yeah, where it was damaged right here, there is a bunch of this. But is there anything even in this? What the heck? Is it literally just extra crap? It's like it's just extra crap. There's nothing in here. That is weird. I wonder if FedEx opened this. They probably gashed it and checked it for damage. Who knows? Uh, but let's start setting it up. I do not see gloves, by the way, and I'm gonna use gloves touching this because I do not want to touch it and get fingerprints on anything. So I'm gonna get my old Queen Studios gloves. Alrighty, so here is the base. This is on a 24 inch wide garage shelf. Uh, it does look like it needs a good dusting, to be honest. There was a little, Thing that covered the nameplate I removed and then these are the additional parts that do come on it so yeah the base is slightly deep not super super wide obviously it's much bigger than the base on that dog alien it's a little bit deeper and wider than the big chap one-third so yeah outside of needing some dust it looks great though very like museum-esque uh, classy look. A little bit of like rock, you know, before you go into the actual alien. All right, let's get that big body. All righty, and here is the body. So this immediately does make it quite deep because you do have this giant, I don't know what you want to call that, but some sort of like rear fin. So that is making it deeper than 24 inches immediately. Luckily, mine's in a window well, so I do have quite a bit extra depth. And I'm not sure, the head should not be deeper, you know, based off this big chap. So I'm thinking the head shouldn't be as deep. So based off that, this should be sufficient in depth. So there is a few little scuff marks right there and right there. 
and right there. So multiple scuff marks immediately on this, which is quite disappointing. You know, like that is very noticeable scuff marks. Like, I don't know if this occurred in shipping or, you know, Queen just has really bad QC, but those are very noticeable. You know, and the head's not gonna really cover that. But let's see, nevertheless, very noticeable scuff marks immediately. Which, and it has me thinking that this is possibly, you know, just QC issues. But let's get the head on. Alrighty, and there is the head. Not super easy to put that on. It's very awkward to carry. And it's about as long as that back fin. You know, I guess it's just the way that, I mean, that one's head is angled off. But there it is, here's the skull. I'm gonna take a duster to this before I put the dome over it. In a duster to the dome. Don't want dust inside of it. But yeah, there it is. Check out that. The chromed teeth look excellent. It's always, it's kind of interesting to see it without the dome effect. You know, and then here is this pattern. And sort of like the bones up top. You know, and like here's the prime one. Let me check that out. Alrighty. Let's. I'm going to add those pieces first and then the dome, but I'm also going to dust this real quickly because I don't want it to see dust inside the dome. All righty, YouTubers. So here it is in all its glory. Prime One Studios Big Chap next to Queen Studios Big Chap Life Size Bust. So I still remember when this thing first came, you know, like we saw pics like some hot Asian chick next to it. And I was just like, oh my effing gosh. So there's definitely a lot of things I like about this. Some things I don't. One, the QC issues. Two, the color palette doesn't match Prime 1 quite as well. You know, like the chest area is a lot of black, you know, and there's definitely some detail, like as you get close, where this is more like, I don't know, almost like green, gray, and whatnot. Now, the dome was incredibly dusty when I got it out, so I had to use my air duster, that thing. Uh, and I still wouldn't say the dome is 100% like perfect. You know, like it fits perfect, but there's definitely like a lot of little crap like in person you can see inside that dome. Now, it's not bad by any means, only if you have like a microscope under it. I, I still question why they made the dome like this and not just had it permanently attached. Uh, you know, maybe for damage issues, you know, like, cause I know Prime Ones, uh, some of them had issues where like the dome was touching the inner skull part and it caused some issues. But overall, the dome does look good. It's clear. It's very light. The head is very heavy. The body's the heaviest. Overall, the piece probably weighs a solid 70 pounds, if I was to guess. Has quite a big presence, you know. Not width, but definitely depth and height. You know, like, this is a tall bust. You know, compare it to, you know, like, look at that whole wall. Like, that's my completed AVP wall I've dreamed of so long. <laughs> You know, so it definitely has a lot of presence. It's a big bust. It's also, you know, really well elevated because the body doesn't like start till right here on the front part. Granted, the back part has a lot going on, which I think is really cool the way they transitioned it. You know, friggin'. there's also almost like right here, almost like a plating. Almost somewhat similar to that base, a different color palette, but check that out. So it's like that uh, plating, almost like a cover hole or something. 
maybe from the spaceship, and then it comes into this like rock from the outside. And the rock looks great. I think it looks really good. Then it comes into the body. And the body is definitely a very dark themed, and then there's a lot of sort of like that color, where it's almost like brown and green with black lines. And of course you have this, which is almost like the mechanical part, you know, because this was a dude in a suit from the 70s, if you think about it. Nevertheless, still incredibly cool looking creature. These do not fit perfect, I will say. They are little, you know, and like even the right one, it uh, doesn't peg in perfect and it can easily fall down. The teeth look really well done. You know, check out that. You know, and then I have my, this one's also chromed, painted, you know, by Chase Smith from Little Shop of Horrors. That one's also, you know, like a permanent dome. Much different, you know, overall. This is much more organic looking, like a, you know, where this is more of that suit machine, whatnot look like. You know, Big Chap and Alien Warriors always had that, like, you know, more mechanical look almost. I actually do prefer, like, the inner skull part once you put the dome over it. I think it looks better than with no dome. And the dome does like insert into the bottom. Like you have to go back to forward and then gently bring it down. And then there, this part was attached because that honestly kind of looked funny uh, earlier. It's like, what the heck? But yeah, there's a part there. No visible damage, just the few scuff marks, which is annoying because it's like, I can't paint this. What am I going to do? It's like... Like, that's extremely noticeable. I don't know if spec fiction can do anything for me. But, yeah, that, that, and that. Three very noticeable scuff marks right on the front. And I don't know if it's possible that those little beads caused it, you know, that the moisture beads, could that possibly have caused it? Or is this just a QC issue by Queen? Now, I want to compare this to the Prime 1 Big Chap, because that's my true comparison. You know, like, Prime 1 has, like, that and that. And it's very darkened up until, like, the eye area. This one, you know, you can definitely, like, see the nose. I mean, you can see it right there. I think overall the effect looks really good. I know some people wanted it more fogged, but I'm fine with how it looks. I think in general, this area probably could have used a little bit more, you know, paint app wise. In general, this does look good. It's the same color scheme as this and this, where it's just like alternating, almost like brown, blue, brown with scuff mark, brown, blue, brown, brown, blue. So it's, yeah, like alternating double brown, then blue. And then this is just brown, blue, brown, blue. And then it's generally just like, different shades of black there's the same color palette here even inside this these giant fin type things already had a bunch of work stuff come up uh i forgot where i was my train of thought was but overall i do think it is an amazing bus there's definitely issues the qc these things don't fit perfectly. I would have preferred that permanently attached if possible and make it so it doesn't have those like, when you see this in person, you'll know what I mean. But you know, the one third has less of it. The paint app in general is good. However, I prefer the paint app on my one third big chap. If I'm brutally honest. I like the color scheme a little bit better. Now, which one is more accurate? That is the question. Let's Google Big Chap and see. You know, what is more alien Big Chap? You know, it, the thing is, it's always hard to see Big Chap in, uh, you know, photos. You know, it's like you never truly see a good photo of it. And me, Google only shows statues, pretty much. Let's just type movie suit. See if I can get... Yeah, it's still just statues, of course.
That's all Google knows how to do is show me statues. I need to like go incognito mode. Yeah, it's impossible. Google will only show statues when I search Big Chop. But I don't know what one's more accurate, but I prefer Prime One's overall paint scheme. I think it's a little bit better. You know, just, you, you know, from like four feet away, it just looks black. The only thing that doesn't is there. You know, like, well, I'm not four feet. I'm more like 10 feet. But 10 feet away, you only see black for the most part. When you get up close, it definitely does have more intricate detail. I don't think the paint job is as good as that, not at all. But I do like it more than that, I will say, because of the presence, the size, having these things on it. You know, it's armless, but I think they did a good job overall on the concept. This isn't touching. The size is crazy on this piece. It is huge. The funny thing is a lot of people are saying this was underscaled, but I mean, you tell me, I think it looks appropriately scaled. You know, it definitely has a lot of presence and it is incredible. It's definitely my favorite AVP bust. You know, it tops dog and those two busts easily. Is it worth 4,000? Yes. You know, I have a lot of 4,000 silicones. I would say this is easily as good as one of those in terms of just overall coolness. You know, because every statue has its issues, whether it's, you know, like my Captain America bust, the shield doesn't sit flush. You know, and that was as expensive as this, about the same price, actually. You know, that head is easily way cooler than any human head out there. You know, I mean, just in general, that's the coolest looking head of any bust. The only thing that comes closer are my other whore busts. But even still, the only one that I think truly rivals it is that head. Pennywise. You know, and Queen Arnold in this room. None is really cool, too. But it just can't be that. I mean, that thing is like over three feet long. Overall, it's a really big bust. You know, it's advertised at like 90 centimeters tall. It is a little bit taller than the Big Chop one-third. And the base is about the widest point, actually. Like, the shoulders don't stick out too much. So it does fit quite well. And there's lots of different angles, you know, you can view it. You know, at one point, I considered displaying this sideways. So it looked basically like that. Although, if I'm brutally honest, I think I prefer it this way because I can just walk around the piece and see every single angle, if you know what I mean. So, I feel like this is best displayed like this because one, the logo's facing forward, two, you get all that chest detail, the front teeth, and then if you just walk, you know, to the side, you can see that beautiful angle to see the rear part of the dome and everything. These things look really good, uh, whatever that is called. You know, they look great. The more I look at it, the more I am liking it. Sometimes it's hard to review a piece the moment you get it, because one, your excitement level, two, uh, you can't appreciate a piece to its full extent until you've really looked at it for a while. And I've been so busy, I got other statues arriving. Mara still hasn't arrived. I don't know if she'll arrive today. But I got Gimli I'm going to open up immediately after this video. But yeah, overall, it's a solid, solid piece. I'd probably give it like a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I would lighten up the paint app and, you know, just match the Prime 1 style. If it was, you know, if I was in charge of production on this piece, I would have it match that. Because I just think that color scheme's a little bit better. Two, dome fully attached. Three, those little tube inserts, those got to be better fit mine do not fit good at all three better qc obviously mine had a bunch of scrape marks 
and it's probably during the QC process, I doubt it was shipping. Because I doubt a little teeny bead flying around in a box is going to cause that. So, QC issues. The base is good, not the best. There probably could have been a cooler overall thing, but I would give that base an 8 out of 10. You know, the body, 8 out of 10. The head, 9 out of 10. Overall cool factor, like I said, like 9.5 out of 10. Definitely a keeper in my book. You know, the, the other big chat bus that can rival this is the one by Bruce Hansing. Uh, his busts look incredible. I haven't seen one in person. They look absolutely massive, like ridiculously big. And they're also priced, I believe, cheaper than this one. Uh, I still, you know, overall prefer the Queen, but his look absolutely incredible. And I bet you could have him paint yours to match the Prime 1. But they still do pair extremely well together. You know, they pair very well. So let me know what you guys think of Queen Studios Big Chap Bust. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.